Being able to grow and influence an audience is one of the best ways to make money through the internet. With people making videos online from their bedrooms and getting millions and millions of views daily. Brands see this and are willing to pay them big bags of cash for a small shout out or even having their product in frame. But being able to grow an audience these days is very hard as there's loads of content creators and influencers who are competing for the limelight. In 2022, the most noticeable group who blew out of nowhere were I Show Speed and Mr. Producer, Top G, Andrew Tate, The Misogynist. Both of them being not very known to being at the top of the food chain. With I Show Speed collabing with the biggest YouTubers such as KSI and Andrew Tate, having beef with Logan and Jake Paul, but today we're only looking at Andrew Tate and how his marketing strategy was so good he got put in prison. Yes, we do not clickbait you guys today. But before we do that, like the video and hit the subscribe button because we're trying to become the most subscribed channel after Mr. Beast. So do it now. Also, leave a comment if you think Andrew Tate is guilty or innocent. Andrew Tate has been around for quite a while. He is a four times world champion kickboxer. He was a celebrity on Big Brother and he even used to sell training programs which many people do now on TikTok. But how did he manage to blow up in 2022 and come out of nowhere on everyone's TikTok for you page? Andrew Tate found a secret that people did not know about and managed to exploit it perfectly to make him the most Google man on the planet. What was the secret? Short form content or clips on TikTok. Funny enough, this is also how I Show Speed became famous in 2022 as well, with people reposting his most viral clips on TikTok and getting millions of views. But Tate's approach was more calculated. I Show Speed's clips were posted by people who just thought he was funny and reposted it for views, whereas Andrew Tate was paying people to make the videos for him and to post them on TikTok. For more context, Andrew had an online school called Hustlers University where he would charge people $50 a month to join and have 13 different methods of making money online. One of these methods was an affiliate program where people would get $50 for every person they get to join Hustlers University. So all of the Andrew Tate fan accounts who were posting loads of viral clips of him were actually getting paid a lot of money posting these videos, some even making five figures per month. This was essentially how Andrew Tate became the most talked about person on the planet and many people now copy this same strategy of paying people to make short form content of them and to repost it on TikTok to get more traction and views. One of them being Mr Beast which we made a full video about so check that out afterwards. But when a person gets the level of fame that Andrew Tate got there can also be a lot of consequences when you say things people higher up don't want you to hear. A lot of Andrew Tate's most viral clips are him saying borderline crazy things which he knows will go viral because of the way people react to what he says. Most of the girls hate him now just because they hear he is a misogynist from other girls but don't realise that he's playing a character online or the clips they see are old out of context clips which makes him look bad. But they still get him a lot of engagement and views and like he said himself, if you don't like him but still watch what he does then you're still a fan. But aside from what he has spoken on topics like the pandemic and election fraud and men becoming more masculine and levelling up, which the higher up people or the Matrix were not happy about, so they used the misogyny storyline and banned of all social media which made all the females happy. But the Matrix failed when he moved to Rumble and Clips were still being made of him on TikTok. He was still getting hundreds of thousands of views on Rumble and people were still posting clips that were going viral to which he said he hasn't even been cancelled. After this happened, Top G went to Dubai where he spent some time with his brother and friends and then he returned to Romania where he was arrested on charges of being part of an organised crime group, human trafficking and rape. The allegations made were based on something that happened many years ago and the brothers have been locked up for almost two months with no evidence of them being guilty. It goes to show how badly they annoyed the people in power and who knows what their fate will be. But in short, that's the story of how Andrew Tate got arrested for his marketing strategy. If anything, this shows why famous people are scared of speaking out or they will be cancelled in the same way. Let us know down below what you think and leave a like and subscribe.